Hey, 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 Tiggies. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Guys, check out that description there. And tell me, because I'm a nosy bitch, what have you all been up to? What's the weather like where you are, wherever you are around the world? But guys, I just want to say, can you please, please show your support by smashing the subscribe button in the face with that daily notification alarm bell, guys. Thank you. Just show this channel some love. Just want to say a massive shout out and thank you to you all. And especially Chris and Liger for this epic piece of footage. Well, I'm about to go and review. Let's roll the intro. Ooh. Right, guys. A little bit of a heads up for this mission. So... What we have, guys, is the event version of Counterpoint, okay? So, Counterpoint is like a three or four stage mission. It is for the Terran Empire, so it falls under it where you can get Terran marks and stuff like that, guys. So, please do check it out in the TFO list. It is called Counterpoint. You can do it on um, Basic and Advanced. I'm not too sure about the Elites. If anyone can comment down below if they do have that piece of information, if you can do Counterpoint on Elite... Let me uh, know, please do, because I'm going to try that beast if I can. Anyway, so what we have to do is we have to secure, when we go in, we, you'll see that we have to secure the um, Deep Space Nine station, then and there, and then we have to start on the second phase, getting people uh, from the station, beamed up to the ship, and then transported over to Terek Noor, and that came comes in on the th uh, well i'll say back end of the second to the third technically this is the third but you you're defending it's like part a and part b of part one are complete then it's straight onto this one so territ no comes in at this point you have to get a load of enemies killed off whilst beaming up t away teams to then beam down to the territ no station um after that it's the dreadnoughts and she brings them in with, our reinforcements will put you in your place. Oh, God, it's so cringeworthy. Because, as we all know, it's Chris. So what happens with Chris? He kicks some butt. What can I say, guys? What can I actually say? Barbin, let's get cracking. Let's get watching some butt kicking. Oh, yeah. What we've got here now is one massive cold saw right there. But Chris is kicking it off, engaging his impulse, guys. He is using his epic Altimid Plasma build, guys. The death and destruction dealt is pretty clear and obvious. Chris is overpowered. And I can safely say I would definitely would not like to meet Chris in the dark corner of space, indeed. But on that note, guys, let's watch the action a little, a little bit more. Let's let's just uh, focus on his uh, plasma build, shall we? And what the capabilities of that build are. As you can see with his plasma build, guys, you can see that he can destroy multiple targets at once uh, using beams fire at will as well as other targeting consoles used to his advantage as well i just uh need you guys to realize you don't need to meet chris in the dark corner of space and if you think you are brave enough to challenge chris in a pvp guys then comment down below come on and smash that like button in the face folks the face smash it smash it smash it in the face like button like button like button <laughs> anyway, um, what Chris is doing now is going to be uh, heading over to the portals and starting to close them down very shortly. And he'll be going round DS9 after that to um, drop some away teams down to Terek Noor. When Terek Noor is on station with DS9, um, that becomes more or less ha the halfway point of this TFO. Now, as you can see, Chris is approaching this, um, oh gosh, what's the word? Portal, sorry. He's uh, approached this portal, what he's got to do now is destroy the uh, two to three Terran ships and close down the portal. Uh, the more portals you get, the more points you get towards the end. It's not that much more, folks, so if uh, 
you could technically just keep firing at this and still be fine and still pass the mission and get decent enough marks for what you need. Um, anything extra is always an added bonus as well. So as you pick up each away team and drop them off, please note in this mission, guys, you'll notice that you have no shields. It's not done in error. It's done uh, like for like as it is for the TV shows and movies. You can't transport through shields and you certainly can't transport through warp without causing some considerable side effects and issues, folks. But look at Chris clearing the top of DS9 and all he's doing is using his plasma builds and the odd consoles. Chris, I want you to comment down below and tell me what you think your best console is for this build and why do you think it's best and what rating do you give it? Be fair, just and open with your ratings. But all nosy bitches and we all want to know why you've used that console, how you obtained it, is it upgradable, if it is, to what level, rarity and what actual level tier it is. Um, also guys, Chris has got some new ships that are coming in videos soon. I'm not going to tell you anything more barring it's a Zenkethi ship. And obviously, oh, oh, Terek Nova is now on station. Ooh, this is a bad sign, folks. It's a bad sign for the Terrans, because Chris is going to kick their butt. Do-da, do-da. Now, guys, this is a blind review. I'm going to rate this mission 8 out of 10. It's length between briefings. Obviously, I've managed to edit it and cut it out, because I get to do that. So, yeah. Um, that's been cut out, so you guys don't have to enjoy that as well. But um, it's also for the fact that it's a bit long-winded when they could have like grouped the first and second stages together as one then going into the third and then into the fourth but no they've left like briefing times which guys you don't want to wait a minute between each briefing time for the next stage you know it doesn't take a, a minute to read a briefing not really we already know what's coming so i don't know why they don't disable that thing when uh, everyone on there knows what a bloody tfo is and what briefing is and what they should be bloody doing really anyway that being said, guys, I'd rate ship's build, uh, Chris's ship's build, 9 out of 10. There has been a weakness found, guys, but I'm not telling you. But it's a weakness that wouldn't technically kill him unless you had a certain console that would counteract some of his. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You can find out yourself, guys. Or if Chris wants to tell you, he can do. It's his choice. But I will say, guys... If you do want to challenge Chris, prepare to die or prepare a slow, painful death because Chris likes to play with his food before he kills it. Anyway, um, what Chris is now doing is heading back to Terek Noor. And as you can see, his shields are have dropped, guys. Means he's dropped somebody, somebody off and he's also giving it a cheeky fire. Like, but they have so many times that station goes through repairs. So as soon as it nicks to 25%, boom, that's it. Repairs itself and heals itself up to about 50 odd. And I think it's stupid really because it wouldn't, it doesn't happen like that. It takes bloody ages. So, yeah. Anyway, um, Chris's sh sh ship, 10 out of 10. I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, everything in whole for this TFO and this episode I'm reviewing for you guys today here at CIEG, I would give it 9 out of 10. Guys, what do you think? You know, come and rate our videos. Come on. Give us a number out of 10. One being shockingly shite, which we obviously know that's not going to happen. To 10 being absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, you should do this constantly. I think I'm about 7 or 8 where yeah, I can do it constantly. There's good highlights for you guys and good information as well. So if you guys agree with my review and stuff like that, please do let me know down below as well. And do check out the community tab, guys, because there is regular posts up there. And don't forget, if you guys follow me on TikTok, you'll see me drag up as Dr. Gynecologist. A gynecologist nobody wants. Nobody. Oh. Guys, I'm also going to be doing some Karen reviews soon. And maybe the odd Karen doing the cheeky audit in the States. So I've seen a few of those on TikTok. So I just want to say also, um, massive shout out to Degeneration Nation. 
over on TikTok and go and check out his YouTube guys. Absolutely brilliant, the content he puts up there of audit fails and Karens, stuff like that. Absolutely phenomenal, it's where I've got some of um, my content from the Karens as well from TikTok. Um, I were gonna go into audit fails, but guys, I just wanna recommend you type in Degeneration Nation. I've got a picture of a skull on fire. That's the guy you need for all your audit fails and comical stuff. But for any Karens and stuff like that, please come and visit TIEG. Come on. Have a bit of entertainment, a bit of comedy, a bit of class and sass. Uh, oh, yeah. Anyway, I just want to say, folks, as we're coming to end of this mission, check out the Linktree description link. No, that's wrong. Why do I always say this wrong in every video? Most of the time I edit it out, but today I'm not. Guys, go check out the link in the description box from Linktree. It gives you all access to TIEG, its merch store, Discord, social media platforms that we're on as well. And our YouTube. Oh, I bloody love our YouTube channel. The support you guys have been giving has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, me and my team have been forever busy making sure we uh, respond to all of your comments, guys. So please feel free to comment. You know, give us your ideas, what you want to see in your next videos. Also, while looking and getting access to all areas of TIEG, folks. And if you want to receive some merchandise and show your support, please do check out our Patreon link as well, folks. Um, we also have a merch store as well as the built-in one for Patreon as well. So go check out that. It's on uh, the link tree links. Right. The end bit of this, guys, is when their dreadnoughts and reinforcing dreadnoughts arrive at top of Terek North Station. Now, it's going to be over quick. It's going to be over very, very quick for you guys because uh, they don't like plasma. They definitely don't like plasma, which obviously Chris has proven already. It's, oh, he's dropping another team off, folks. He's dropping another team off. That's what I like to see. Teamwork for teams, yes. That's what we're here, all here for at TIEG to provide great gaming. Oh, positive vibes all around, folks. Oh, and some of the positive vibes I've been getting off you all. Mwah, phenomenal. Keep spreading them love and the positive vibes, man. Right, Chris, you're nearly done. You're nearly done, bro. And so are we, guys. So, like I said, smash that like button and get ready for the final bit ho oh, it's coming up very very soon guys and i cannot wait for you to see it i'd probably say in about 20 seconds guys you're going to see it going to a cutscene, and that cutscene is only a few seconds long i'd say in about 10 seconds now and then we all know shit's going to hit the fan in regards to chris and these dreadnoughts so uh I'm going to shut up, just so you can watch what happens now. They're on station. They're here. Get ready. Get ready, because in the matter of a, a breath, one of them's dead and done and gone already. Boom, gone. What the heck? I remember when this first came out, guys. Oof, it was a pain in the ass TFO. It wasn't liked. I didn't like it, but mm, I do now. I do. And guys, I just want to say that's pretty much it from me today. But do check out for our next gaming release, guys. And uh, stay safe. Over to the bigger me. <laughs> guys, that's it, I'm afraid, Tigers. We are done for today's episode. Just a massive thank you to Chris and Lager for this epic piece of footage. Guys, whilst you are checking out the Linktree link in the description box down below, can you please, please, please smash the subscribe button in the face, showing this channel some love. And guys, don't do anything I wouldn't do other than check that store out. Oh yes, check that store out indeed guys, some epic merchandise. But don't do anything I wouldn't do. See you in the skies, Captains. Ciao for now. Ooh.